Hi guys, this is a special video uh, with shout out to Jovery who made me realize that maybe it's not so obvious to everyone uh, how should you put uh, operational amplifier in a socket uh, when you're changing uh, op amp in your uh, audio equipment like digital channel converter or headphone amplifier or other type of amplifier. Uh, I'm uh, when I'm reviewing equipment uh, that's um, that can uh, be upgraded uh, via changing uh, op amps. I'm usually saying uh, what type of op amp I've used for my testing purposes, and I usually give you some kind of recommendation. Uh, but uh, Jovery made me realize that maybe it would be a good idea to record a video on how to actually insert the operational amplifiers the correct way. So, basically, if you're able to change operational amplifiers, uh, then your device will have uh, deep 8 sockets, like this one. Uh, these sockets, let me prepare my pointer. Ah, I need third hand. Okay, so, uh, in your device, you'll have sockets like that. And socket li sockets like that uh, are directional marked with this uh, kind of small curve here. And in that type of socket, the pin number one is here. So it's on the left side of the cutout of the curve in the socket. The idea is that you should align pin 1 on your amplifier, on your amp, with the pin 1 on the socket. Some of the operational amplifiers, like this AD, will also have this curved cutout here. So, the only thing you need to do is to mark the cutouts. Yes, and you're sliding the op amp into the socket. Yeah, uh, it had some legs bent. Yeah, like that. It has to mark. It, uh, sorry, it has to align. Uh, but what happens in a case uh, when you don't have that cutout? Uh, if you don't have that, uh, the other standard way of marking the pin one is either writing number one or placing a dot. For example, here we have. Uh, Burson V5i uh, operational amplifier. Uh, it's square and it doesn't have this uh, curved cutout, but as you can see, it has this small dot in the corner here. The small dot marks pin 1. So, in case when we're having a dot, we'll be trying to, il to align the op amp with a socket like that. So, the dot will be in the left topmost corner like that yeah and we'll be placing our operational amplifier so that the dot will be here next to the cutout on the left side of the cutout okay another type of operational amplifier that you can see in my videos are one channel op amps uh, that are soldered on adapters and in case of adapters as you can already see adapter will have a cutout here and we, it will also have a pin one marked by number one and the third way of marking pin number one is making it rectangular on PCB as you can probably see all other yeah all other pins around and number one is square so again one to one so one has to be in this corner of the socket here and as you can see we also have small uh, white print uh, on this uh, adapter and this white print follows the shape of the socket we can also have some discrete operational amplifiers that are horizontal, like that one. In this case, as you can probably already see, 
the pin one will be mark will be marked with a round dot and square pin. In such case, we'll be aligning the socket with the uh, amp like that. So the square marked pin number one will go into the left topmost pin in here. And that's it. Uh, another type of uh, operational amplifiers, discrete operational class A amplifiers, uh, are these ones produced by Acliam and these are vertical. As you can already see yeah, right now, these will be following the same uh, way of marking pins. So number one, oh, sorry about that, number one will have a dot and digit number one next to it. We also have four and on the other side you'll have five to eight. So in this case you'll be aligning number one with again topmost on the left side like that. Yeah. And in case of LC2 you'll have pin number one marked here and we do the same thing. We're aligning pin number one with digit with number one and the dot with this pin. Okay, so having said that, how does it look in practice? For example, in headphone amplifier, let's see, let's use Breeze. Uh, E600 that I highly recommend because that's actually great great headphone amplifier. As you can see I've already placed one of the uh, operational amplifiers in the socket. Now let's maybe let's have it like that. And as you can see the socket for the other channel has this round cutout here, this curved place, and this means that the pin number one will be here. So we'll be placing our LC5. We can see we have pin number one on the left side of the row. So we will be aligning the pin number one with the hole in the socket. And we'll be pushing the open pin side like that. And basically that's it. The operation is simple, uh, you should always check the uh, correct uh, pinout uh, polarity, you should always be sure that you're placing your operational amplifier the right way, uh, because uh, in best case scenario uh, your device will not power on, but that's the best case scenario, that happens very rarely. The worst case scenario is that you'll burn the operational amplifier or you'll burn the PCB which is far worse because operational amplifier can be always replaced. Replacing PCB meaning, meaning uh, repairing the device because you will not uh, know what exactly had been damaged. Uh, so that's it. Uh, when you, it's, it's quite easy, yes? It's quite easy thing to do but you always need to be sure that you're doing uh, that you're matching, that you're aligning pin 1 on your operational amplifier with pin 1, again, that one on the socket. And that's it. Uh, I plan to do a video on open rolling uh, in some future, uh, because you've seen some of the examples of my collection. My full collection is this box and there's quite a lot of them inside. Uh, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, small video. Stay tuned for my other reviews and videos. And thank you for watching this. Bye, guys.